Welcome to Ecoholics. In this lecture, we will understand or we continue our discussion of inflation that we picked up in the last few lectures. So this is in the continuation of inflation. Now a lot of students ask me, sir, please tell me the difference between WPI and CPI. So generally, whenever we are reading the newspaper, we come across the terms of WPI and CPI. So what's the difference between what is the conceptual clarity behind this and what is the motive behind calculating the two different kinds of inflation in India. So first of all, they start with WPI that is wholesale price index. Now wholesale price index is obviously as the name suggested that is wholesale. So here we can say that if we write WPI, it is calculated on the wholesale prices of goods. So it is calculated on the wholesale prices of goods, not services. So the point to be noted is WPI is only calculated for the goods, not for the services. Now who calculates WPI? So we can write the Office of Economic Advisor under Ministry of Commerce and Industry. So Office of Economic Advisor, there were, there's an office under it, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, who calculates WPI. Now, there are certain kind of items in the basket. So I'll explain what is basket. So there are 697 items in the basket of WPI, which we calculate the inflation. Now, what is the basket? Basket is simple, we can say, you can imagine a simple basket and there are certain goods and like this we have 697 items of common consumption throughout the country like there are certain commodities like we can say the common consumption commodity is rice the common consumption commodity is wheat certain vegetables like potato onion tomato is a common consumption categories and this is common throughout the country so what government did government picked up 697 commodity generally considered as most of the uh, commodities almost 75 percent plus commodities are considered from the manufacturing sector so we can say this actually reflect the good idea for industry or industrial perspective this is a very important indicator for their price rise so 697 items of common consumption is what we call the consist of actually the basket of commodities. Now apart from this, there's a base here to calculate WPI. The base year is 2011 and 12. Now what's the meaning of base year? It is just we can say a reference year. So we can calculate the WPI price level for current financial with reference to this base year. Now we're talking about the another one that is CPI, Consumer Price Index. I'll tell you the difference as well. Now under Consumer Price Index, obviously it calculates retail prices. And the retail prices of both goods and services. So now we can say that as we know that 60% of our GDP contribution comes from service sector. So we can say that WPI actually lacks somewhat while not including the services in it. Now under CPI, the services are included. Now who calculates CPI? That is Central Statistical Office under Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, popularly known as MOSPI. Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. So CSU calculates this index. Now there are 200 items under it. Now 200 items again in this basket that is 200 items of common consumption throughout the country. So around 40, 40 plus items considered as a food items under it. So we can say if there is a fluctuation in the food items prices, then you can see there's a fluctuation in consumer price index as well. Now the next is the base year. So 2012 is the base year of consumer price index. Although you will find on a lot of places, you'll find 2010, but the latest updation is 2012. Now here we can say that CPIC is the most popular or we can say benchmark interest rate 
or sorry benchmark inflation rate for reserve bank of india in order to adjust their repo rate so repo rate is an important concept that we'll see in some other lecture so consumer price index that is combined rural plus urban that is the benchmark inflation rate in order to adjust repo rate for reserve bank of india now considering these two the major difference is about the services cpi includes services wpi doesn't and whenever we see that which of the following index has a wider coverage so we can say in terms of the items wpi but in terms of the economy we can say the cpi consists of services as well so it has a wider coverage but whenever you see the variety under it then wpi is important for the rbs perspective it means for the consumers perspective cpi is an important indicator because it reflects the retail prices real prices for industry perspective or for early indicators because whenever your raw material or wholesale prices are rising it means you can predict that retail prices in future will also go up and you can make policies according to it because whenever we see that wpi is rising it means somewhat we can say that cpi will also go up in near future so we can make policy in order to control the cpi now there's a target for maintaining inflation rate to 4% recommended by urjit patel committee in 2015 so what urjit patel committee said that inflation should be 4% with a band of plus minus 2% it means rbi can deviate to 6% and 2% or we can say both sides so this is what we have in the summarized way about wpi and cpi so if you like this video please give a big thumbs up and do mention in the comment box if you have any doubt anything you have to be asked and anything you want to suggest for ecoholics please share with your friends colleagues and wherever possible our initiative and don't forget to subscribe ecoholics because you'll get the latest videos in your notification if you click on the bell icon as well apart from this we are having our mobile app where we provide full courses of economics optional uh, ugc net economics and indian economic services econometrics mathematical economics and so on there are a lot of courses so if you are interested you can visit our website ecolix starting so i hope you like this initiative once again thank you so much have a nice day